Hello folks, well it's another Hoover Sensortronic to look at today so without any further ado let's get it opened and see if it's broken. Fingers crossed it won't be. It's always the wheels and I doubt the seller of this vacuum will have bothered to take the wheels off unless he watches my videos. Right. This is a Sensortronic System 10, so this is the Pauper, Pauper's Sensortronic. Yes, if you couldn't afford the all singing, all dancing Hoover Total System 50, then you could get the System 10, but if you're a little bit richer, you could go at least for the System 20 that had the electronic speed control. This is just one speed, this vacuum. One single speed, and I believe a 900 watt motor. Okay. Well, it's it's reasonably packed, isn't it, folks? Let's hope. Let's hope this lovely 80s vacuum cleaner is intact. Okay. Well, first thing to look at is the one of the wands. Obviously, quite well used, but not broken at the uh, locking ring end. Seems fine. So. That's okay. I hope there's another wand somewhere. Here we have a hose. A little bit uh, kinked. Bit dirty, bit dusty, but it should be fine. You've got your suction control on the top and the button at the front to release the wand or whatever nozzle you put into it. So that's, uh, yeah, a nice designed hand grip. And of course, we've got the machine end here, part of the hose. Here's Hoover's Contour Plus head. Quite like this design. I'm not sure if I prefer it to the original Contour. Oh dear, this is downhill here, isn't it? Very rusty and missing at least one of its litter pickers i think they only ever had one well, i remember having these some brand new and despite the fact there was room for two often there would only be one that'll a brillo pad bit of metal polish it will improve that but that is that is well used isn't it you got your pedals to release well, in fact, yeah, it works a bit differently because it doesn't release the brushes. Instead of lowering the brushes, it lowers the base plate. So that's your carpet setting. The pip is intact. Not too bad. It'll clean up better than it looks now. And here we have the second wand with the storage bracket in the wrong place. I'll have to adjust that. And again, yes, it looks okay. The locking rings haven't broken at the end. It's got the pip. Yeah, bit of a clean and a polish. Should be okay. Now, this is a second generation Hoover Sensortronic. In fact, it's the second generation of the second generation. The first generation is the, uh, the range that has the single foot pedal at the bottom. The first ones they launched, they were upgraded with the twin pedaled with the, with the extra lights, etc. And then that range was given a bit of a refresh with just basically a few little extra features including and a, and a different color palette. So this is System 10. This is darker than the original. The first System 10 was much, much of a lighter beige. This is a more of a sort of a mink, minky brown colour. Okay, let's see, has it got broken? It's not a very good box. We'll take it out. It smells heavily of ladies' perfume. That's not a good sign. I'll show you that in a minute. Right. Okay. Right, let's have a look at the cleaner. Well, here it is. I do like the colour. It's quite scuffed, but I think after a bit of miracle polish, it'll come up quite well. Now, the reason why 
the tool caddy door isn't closing is because the tool caddy isn't in position and that's because there's no dust bag inside but I'm glad to see that we do have at least the clip this is what I can smell I was wondering is it was it the Hermes courier that left this smell in my home but no this vacuum cleaner smells heavily of ladies perfume I think it could be tweed by Lonthric you have to be a certain age to know what that is right yuck right look at that oh dirty They're very worn i've got i've got some new spares of these it can be washed we can make it better than that but that is absolutely filthy i'm going to have to vac this out before switching it on i'll give that a quick vacuum i'll give the inside a bit of a vacuum as well i haven't even looked closely at the wheels yet hang on i'm gonna have Right, they seem to have survived. Now what's perished on this? There'll be two things that have perished on this. The first thing that's perished, which they normally do. If I can show you. There you go, you can just about see here. There should be a ring of foam. And that, that's gone folks. You can get something. I've got, I've got plenty in my stocks that I can cut. Bit of glue, hot glue gun. And that can be replaced and that helps to form a bit of a seal obviously because that seal has perished it means that the dust bag hasn't been sealing very securely there so it's been leaking dust into the um, motor uh, into the dust bag compartment so what i'll do have i got a vacuum handy let me have a look uh no i know i've got one upstairs handy though so i'll just go and fetch the vacuum i'm using at the moment to clean my house give this a bit of a clean out vacuum the filter off and i'll pop a new dust bag in <laughs> Oh dear, it's worse than I thought folks. Inside here, oh loads is coming out, loads of muck. That'll do. We'll just do the old filter. Wow, that is dirty. Filthy. Both sides. Right then, I think that'll do, although, you know, seeing how much gunk, oh, they've changed it, mmm, I'm sure there used to be screws on here to take this cover off, there's absolutely tons and tons of fluff. That's got, I expect it's got into the motor and into the fan. Can I just, I don't know, it won't pull off. Oh, I didn't realize they've changed it. I'm not sure how that comes off. I'll have to open it up at some point. Just, just give it another quick bash with this. That'll do folks, that'll do for now. Let's pop this back here. Yeah. I have got some. Uh, in fact, I think an eBay seller is still selling these, so I might buy another pack as well. You can never have enough Sensotronic parts. 
I'd hate to be without any. Right, well look, it's better isn't it? Better than it was. I've got an original genuine bag for the electronic, the automatic and the sensotronic. H8. But you can also, and I've got some, some, oh no, I guess it is for this model. For both generations of Sensortronic, this generation, this style, and the newer boxy style, you can buy non-genuine fleece bags for these, um, which I will use when I do a proper demo of any Sensortronic, I'll put the fleece bags in. They are always better on the whole than the originals. Oh, a bit of a mark on that one, a bit of a watermark, but it'll do for the purpose of turning on. So providing the bag is fitted correctly. This little lever here should be down and that means I can put the tool caddy back in position. Without the tool caddy in place we won't have very much suction. So if you want to buy a Sensortronic, if you see a Sensortronic for sale and it's missing the tool caddy but it's got the top cover, unless you've got your own tool caddy it's not going to work very well because it's not going to seal in the suction because it's the tool caddy that seals in the suction with the seal. Ooh, we have a date wheel, folks. The date wheel for this particular cleaner is 1987. And this particular part was made in May. May 1987, this came off the production line in Dijon, France. And we can see here an original Hoover air freshener. Perhaps that's what's smelling. I don't know. It's, yeah, it's not what it's, the whole cleaner smells quite a lot, but um, oh, hang on a minute, another bit of muck. That'll do. Okay, now we are missing. We are missing a um, dusting brush. But I do have a spare one. I bought a load of spare small nozzles a few weeks ago on eBay, included a couple of those. I knew I'd need one at some point and I need one for this Hoover Sensortronic System 10. The all-purpose nozzle, dirty, but yeah, pretty nice condition. That'll clean up very well. Crevice tool, not so good, quite worn at the end. These are often used in cars, aren't they? And they just, they just get worn. I might have a spare one of those as well, but it, it'll clean up better than it looks. So there are the two small tools. Here's the tool cover. I think it's had a bit of a wipe. There are some, I don't know if you can see, some wipe marks. I'm just taking a damp cloth and just gone like that. We do have the silent, my lights. <laughs> Let's re-angle, oh, let's put that there. Here we go, I think we can see the silent salesman a bit better now at this angle. So a silent salesman is basically a sticker they used to put on the vacuum cleaner. So if this machine was taken out of its box and put on display in a shop, then the prospective customer could come and read the main points before calling over an assistant and getting further details. So. It says, new gives a real sense of power. Model S3448, powerful 900 watt motor, giant reusable bag, built-in air freshener, complete set of top quality tools, free five year parts guarantee. See application form inside for details. I can just about read that. And there's the main feature of this machine, tool store inside the cleaner. So this is the bottom of the line of the Sensortronics, just for someone who wanted the cheapest. They wanted a new vacuum cleaner, didn't want any of the fancy features, quite happy with just an on-off switch, automatic cable rewind, built-in air freshener, and just two indicator lights on this machine. So here we just have two indicator lights, a green and a red light. When you switch on, the green light should illuminate to tell you all is well and that there is air flow through the machine. If the red light comes on, it means either you've got a blockage in the nozzle, tube or hose or the bag's full. The red light will always fluctuate on and off as you're using the cleaner. Well, I've just used my Vorwerk Tiger to uh, clean a bit of polystyrene packaging that was stuck in the exhaust grill and I've ended up 
more or less vacuuming up the diffuser that should be behind here. So that's the second thing. If you're buying an old Sensortronic, if that's intact, you're very, very lucky because it always, always perishes. It's a similar sort of material to the Hoover Porter power filter. Again, they turn to dust. So you can just get something of a similar material. Coarse, you want it coarse. It's a diffuser more than the filter. A black coarse filter and you just cut it to fit. No problem there. Not too bad condition at the back here. It's a little bit worn where the user has pulled out the flex and pulled it up at an angle and it's cut into the top here but that isn't too bad I've seen far worse than that and we've got quite a nice age appropriate I believe it looks age appropriate Volex plug but as you can see can you just about see there look not been wired in very correctly so I'm just going to wire that properly before I plug this in but, whoops feels okay to pull out yeah might benefit from a bit of bit of grease somewhere it's not gonna it's not going to rewind very quick I don't think <laughs> yes and I was right no it doesn't like it when it's cape when the cable is curled up obviously if I was to use this for a bit the cable wouldn't be still curly would it I find after the machine's warmed up a bit, the flexi wine tends to work a bit better too. So off camera, before I switch the machine on, I will just rewire that because it's obviously not been wired up very well because they haven't wired up the cable clamp on the outside of the insulation. We've still actually got little Hoover sticker, which I will leave on. What does it say? Ah, Fit plug before removing knot from cord as the cord will pass into the cleaner should the rewind pedal be pressed yes so that's how yes that's how i remembered it oh you can probably still got the original kink yes it would have been out of the box and new and it would have looked something like that with no plug on and you'd have to make sure you had a plug at home or you'd Ask the assistant to add a plug to the bill for about 90 pence or something, whatever they cost back back in the day. OK, well, I'll do that now. Have another look, a bit more of a look around the cleaner. Not a lot more to see. And then we'll switch on this uh, Hoover Sensortronic System 10. OK, so that's the plug wired up correctly. Yeah, all in all, pretty happy. Bit of a paint scuffage here but that will come off that will polish up not too much damage on the old uh, huge furniture guard that side anyway these are so big well they are they are so big like pulling along a great big suitcase that you'd have to be going some to knock this into the wall to damage it <laughs> you would really again we've got similar but they're just paint marks it's not scratches that will come off this is going to polish up very well i do love this color i think it's the same color as the compact i've got pretty sure it is if you remember that that compact with the broken wheel it's a compact super yeah that's fine and dandy let's have a look at the underside shall we folks oh not too bad yeah you've got your swivel caster at the front Let's have a look at the old rating sticker. OK, so this is Hoover model S3448, made in France, trademarks of Hoover PLC, 50 hertz, 900 watts, 240 volts. And we've got uh, 81008833. Not sure if we can date it from that. That seems to be a, a different way of dating the cleaner. Let me see. No, I can't, I can't work it out from that, I'm afraid, folks. But we know that the tool caddy was made in 1987, and I've just checked the top cover. That's also got 1987 on it. So I think we can safely say, more or less, this is from 1987. So as I said, it's second generation. It's the second generation of the second generation. And apart from a refresh, different colour scheme, the uh, only other major difference, if you can call it that, 
is this additional parking slot here just well it's a storage slot you couldn't park the hose of the machine horizontal when the machine's in this position then you can park if I can find the tube here it is there you go so you can park the tube but that's in the wrong position I'll just have to unscrew that oh it's moving anyway but I'll just you just have to loosen the uh, screw to position that properly so it's normally the lower well it is always the lower extension wand on these that has the doobie so you'd attach the nozzle then it would go that way so there that that's it i say that's about the correct position for that right well i think i've shown you everything so without any further ado folks let's plug in at this cleaner I expect it's going to spew out a bit more of the exhaust filter that I haven't managed to suck out. As long as it sounds okay, I'll be fairly happy with this vacuum. Okie dokie, it's plugged in. I'm not sure if it's switched on. Let's soon find out. Here goes. She's got a bit of a whiff about her. Bit of a whiff, but not too bad. I expect there is a suppressor in this one. I've had suppressors go on Sensotronics. In fact, if you remember way back, my Hoover Sensotronics System 1, which in fact, yeah, that's funny I mentioned the System 1 because the System 1 obviously was the bottom model of the first generation, that lovely red machine. So this is a direct descendant of the uh, system one now it was uh, a few bits did come out but had i not used my dusting brush that would have just spewed out absolutely tons of black spongy material covered in carbon dust i expect but yeah pretty pleased with this it's not too badly damaged it's going to clean and polish up very well. What I haven't done yet is see if we've got any discoloration. Hang on. Oof. Oh no, I think we'll get away with that, folks. You can see where the sticker's been, but once that's been cleaned and polished, you're not going to see where that sticker was. And I don't like to leave... Oh, actually you can. I think the tea cut will get rid of that very fine... It's coming off with my finger. That's good. I was a bit worried about removing that, but no, it's not left any permanent damage to this cleaner. So let's just check that the older uh, sensor lights work correctly. Yeah, that seems fine. I do think that uh, this cleaner does need to be opened up and a little bit of uh, light servicing to the motor. Clean the commutator, maybe a little bit of grease to the bearings. Obviously, I need to fit a new diffuser while I've got it apart. They're pretty easy to, to take apart. And I'll have to see also what type of suppressor is in there. It'll be probably the newer, smaller type. It might be okay. I might leave it. But yes, what they've done, and this is something they, they did with the later curvier Sensotronics with the two pedals. The previous generation, the first generation, just had two screws to undo. But Hoover being Hoover, for some reason they put a third screw and they covered it with this black cap, which does come off. I might have to leave that off. Sometimes it won't come off without damaging it, but I think that's the only way to remove the motor hood is undo the three screws and then it sort of pushes back and you you pull it out and disconnect the wires because there's no fancy electronics in here there won't be that many wires inside I don't think not on this one it's not like a remote control model so I'm really pleased to have 
this you know it's another gap in the old sensatronic collection so well i can't think how many i've got now one day folks i'll get them all out hopefully when i when i've got all my vacuum cleaners in one place i can get them all out together the sensatronics maybe do do a video with the first generation well i could do three videos actually a first generation video second generation video but also a video of the sort of sensatronic oddities that are not quite part of the um you know the main lineup you know the odd exclusive models in fact there's one i've had absolutely years and never shown on this channel that's new in the box but it doesn't it's not actually called sensatronic i think it's called electronic um, but it is based on hoover sensatronic uh, body style the older style i believe yes it is it's one of the older ones but the nearest i've got to this is that uh, white sensatronic the white and gray the white with the gray bumper but very similar to this but that one does have the electronic speed control but no additional electronic uh, displays no additional lights i like this one it's basic but it's a lovely lovely color it goes very well with my carpet we'll give it a quick push using the rather rusty contour nozzle no way to add a power head to this generation unfortunately uh, well you could if you had the right bits i suppose and knew what you were doing because we can see here look the blanking piece the first generation cleaners even system one they did have a power socket so system one and two that didn't have a power hose systems three four and five used a power hose but even system one and two on the first generation you could buy an optional well it would have been electrokinetic type power head back then with a long cable that you clipped all the way around the hose and the extension ones but no taken away but most people who bought one of these bottom of the line they weren't interested in the power nozzle if they wanted the power nozzle they would have gone for the total system 40 or 50 from this generation they wouldn't have just bought this they weren't interested and they might not have needed a power nozzle if they had a lot of hard floors and a few rugs no need for a power nozzle it's only if your home's fully carpeted really all right let's click that in hang on it's a bit stiff it will be better when it's uh, cleaned up won't it let's check i'm putting it in the right way actually i think i was yeah i am only one way it goes in well it won't click but yeah that's locked in as well as it's going to be Before I wind up the cable on this Hoover Sensortronic System 10, let's do the old suction gauge. I should be able to get a fairly good seal with this pistol grip type, or was it contour grip handle? I can't remember what they called it. I think it was called a contour grip to go with the Contour Plus nozzle. That nozzle, it'll work better when it's polished and cleaned underneath, but it didn't do bad on this carpet. It was on maximum suction i had the suction gauge suction release lever closed um it was relatively easy to push but it'll be better once it's all cleaned and polished underneath without that rust should have cleaned it before running it over my carpet but never mind I'm sure it'll be fine right we'll do it quickly don't really like putting much of a strain on this motor until at least i've had it opened and given it a bit of a clean but it's going to leak some suction we'll just have a 
quick idea of the sort of power this machine had. Well, that was around 66 on the gauge. I think with a bit of a service and a proper seal, we might get that up to nearly 70 if we're lucky. It will have reduced in efficiency because it's an older machine, obviously. And if it had a brand new filter rather than the filter I've just vacuumed, might have added a few, few notches on the old suction gauge, but I didn't know what to expect with this, but it's adequate for a 900 watt vacuum cleaner from the 80s. I think most people would have been pretty satisfied with one of these. Come on. No, it doesn't want to go in. I'll have to help it. So there you go, another Hoover Sansotronic to throw onto the pile <laughs> until it's time for a proper refurb. Obviously, it's not going to be thrown. I don't have a pile. It's going to be packed away in a box and put securely somewhere safely until I've got time to give it the attention it deserves. The motor is smelling a little bit carbony and it isn't sounding as healthy as it should. So it does need looking at. I'm a little bit wary of using this for much longer because something may go bang or pop or explode, whatever. But anyway, the cleaner itself, pretty good condition. It will look even better when it's thoroughly cleaned, tea cutted and polished. So I'm looking forward to doing that at some point. If you have any comments or questions about this Hoover Sensortronic or any Sensortronic, please comment below and I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Bye for now.